Ever since AM5 platform launch, people have been discussing the interesting long boot time behavior. As you can see from multiple topics on the internet or even some motherboard manufacturer made it very clear with sticker on the motherboard. I almost believe this is what I'm stuck with until Memory Context Restore came in to save us all. You might wonder what Memory Context Restore is. To explain, let's say whenever the system boots, you need some time to undergo a memory training process. The memory training kicks in when you power on the system. If you have a digital debug LED or easy debug LED, you'll see the number stop at 15 or RAM. What it does is to initialize the memory, load the profile, run a couple tests to ensure the memory can operate at expected performance under your current conditions. When you enable Memory Context Restore, the system will perform complete memory training at the first boot. Later on, it will use the same parameter to initialize the memory, which you can imagine will significantly improve boot time by skipping the memory training process. On the other hand, you will definitely ask if there is any drawback to enable Memory Context Restore. Indeed, if your system condition differs greatly from the first time when you do the memory training, such as higher CPU temperature, room temperature, humidity, or whatever factors that might impact the memory stability. The system will eventually crash. However, it seems memory context restore works pretty well when the memory does not have very aggressive specification, such as 6000 MHz. When memory context restore is enabled, you should also keep power down enable option as enabled to avoid problems such as unexpected BSOD. Make sure you do that or simply keep the option at auto. To summarize, in case you experience extremely long boot problem after enabling XMP, or expo. Do give it a try to enable memory context restore option as a walkaround. Note that if you reset the BIOS like CMOS clear or BIOS update flash, the memory training parameters will be reset as well. Don't forget to configure the MCR again after CMOS clear. It makes more sense to run a complete memory training every time the system boots. If your system hang or get unstable after enabling MCR, it might be better to leave it disabled on your system. For more details, you can also refer to the link I put in the description. Looks like MSI is able to push the boot time from 43 to 22 seconds after enabling MCR.